Hello MotoGP fans, welcome back to ZNGP today. As the 2024 MotoGP season opener approaches, Marc Marquez provides an update on his injured arm, which has undergone four surgeries. Despite the challenges posed by his arm, Marquez remains optimistic about his prospects with Grazini Ducati and emphasizes the importance of careful maintenance and preparation. Jorge Lorenzo, a three-time MotoGP champion, shares his perspective on the major players in the upcoming 2024 MotoGP season. While acknowledging the competitiveness of several riders, Lorenzo singles out Francesco Bagnaia as the clear favorite for the championship title, given his exceptional performance and confidence leading up to the season. Initially, Valentino Rossi's VR46 team, led by his right-hand man Uccio Salucci, preferred a move to Suzuki when considering their entry into MotoGP. This preference stemmed from concerns about potentially negative repercussions from Rossi's previous experience with Ducati, which was fraught with challenges and disappointments. Pedro Acosta, the highly touted newcomer to MotoGP, has revealed his ambitious plans for his debut race during a private conversation, inadvertently captured by cameras. As he prepares to kick off his premier class season with Tech 3 Gascas, Acosta expresses confidence in his ability to compete with Brad Binder, KTM's standout rider from the previous season. Click subscribe button and the bell icon for MotoGP news update with. Marquez acknowledges the unique challenges posed by his arm, which requires more attention and maintenance compared to his other arm. He emphasizes the need to pamper and take good care of it to ensure optimal performance. Despite these concerns, Marquez reports having a normal preseason and successful testing sessions at home. Switching to Ducati for the 2024 season offers Marquez the opportunity to minimize the physical strain he experienced with Honda. Despite a minor crash during preseason testing in Qatar, Marquez remains unhurt and optimistic about his physical condition and the potential of his new machine. He highlights the importance of strategic planning and acknowledges the learning curve associated with adapting to a new bike. As the season opener in Qatar approaches, Marquez acknowledges the competitiveness of his fellow Ducati riders, including last season's title rivals Francesco Bagnaia and Jorge Martin. He expresses a willingness to learn from them and emphasizes the importance of a solid preseason in preparation for the challenges ahead. As I have always said, and I am not lying, it is an arm with four operations that requires more maintenance than the other. I have been able to have a normal preseason. I have tested well at home. Switching to Ducati last year's dominant bike should help to curtail the physical blows he has become accustomed to taking. Because we have had a solid preseason, without getting nervous, respecting the times that were needed to get to know the bike. There are still three, four riders who luckily are riding in the same factory with. I can learn from them and I must learn from them how to get the most out of it, Marquez told the zone. As Marc Marquez prepares for the 2024 MotoGP season opener, his update on his injured arm reflects his resilience and determination to overcome challenges. Despite the lingering effects of his injuries, Marquez remains focused on his goals and optimistic about his prospects with Grezzini Ducati. With careful maintenance and strategic preparation, he aims to compete at his best and make a strong start to the season alongside his fellow Ducati riders. Lorenzo highlights Francesco Bagnaia as the favorite for the 2024 MotoGP title citing his consistent performance and confidence. Bagnaia's impressive showing during preseason testing, where he set new lap records, solidifies his position as the rider to beat in the upcoming season. While Bagnaia stands out as the favorite, Ducati's roster of star riders presents formidable challenges. Lorenzo acknowledges the strengths of riders like Jorge Martin, Marc Marquez, and Inia Bastianini each capable of pushing for victories and challenging Bagnaia's dominance on the track. Lorenzo predicts that Bagnaia will have race weekends where he dominates, showcasing his exceptional talent and speed on certain tracks additionally. Lorenzo notes the improvements made to Ducati's 24-spec bike, 
which could pose a challenge for competitors like Marquez. Despite facing tough competition, Banyaya's strength and consistency make him the standout favorite for the championship title. I think Peko is that kind of rider who is like a robot. His confidence is now sky high. We have seen Jorge Martin making pole positions and starting the race as well. We can see Marc Marquez who will always try to be in the front because he is like a bulldog. But Peko is the favorite I believe. Banyaya is able to be unbeatable in some tracks. But we cannot deny that Banyaya is one of the strongest and for me, until someone proves the opposite, he is the favorite. Lorenzo told Zone. As the 2024 MotoGP season approaches, all eyes will be on Francesco Banyaya as the frontrunner for the championship title. With his unwavering confidence and exceptional skill, Banyaya is poised to dominate the competition, although challenges from Ducati's star lineup and other contenders are expected. MotoGP enthusiasts eagerly await the thrilling battles on the track as riders vie for victory and championship glory. Despite the initial preference for Suzuki, VR46 eventually became a Ducati team. Salucci admitted feeling some apprehension about the relationship due to Rossi's past experiences with Ducati. However, meetings with Ducati representatives Paolo Giabatti and Gigi Doligna alleviated these concerns, as they demonstrated a genuine desire to collaborate and support VR46 growth. Despite initial reservations, VR46 found a positive and supportive environment within Ducati. Salucci praised Gigi Doligna's expertise and highlighted the productive relationship they have developed, despite occasional disagreements. The VR46 team's success, including Marco Bezzecchi's first MotoGP win in Argentina, has further solidified their relationship with Ducati. At the beginning Vale told me that MotoGP would be difficult. Initially I wanted to work with Suzuki, then Suzuki didn't make the bikes and withdrew. In the first meetings with Paolo Giabatti and Gigi Doligna it felt a little strange for me to talk about our bikes. Instead I saw that they wanted to take us by the hand and make us grow. So I'm having a lot of fun. Gigi is a genius, we talk to each other very well, even if sometimes we clash then we immediately get back on track. It was a very positive surprise for Ducati, Salucci told Marca. Looking ahead, VR46 faces decisions about their future in MotoGP. While their existing contract with Ducati expires at the end of 2024, they have the option to extend it automatically. However, they have also explored opportunities with other manufacturers, including KTM and Yamaha. Despite these discussions, Ducati remains their preferred choice with both parties expressing mutual interest in continuing their partnership. VR46 told us that they would like to close with us quite soon. It's something we would like to continue for another two years, Davide Tardazzi told. Valentino Rossi's VR46 team's journey to MotoGP has been marked by initial hesitations, eventual collaborations, and notable successes. While their partnership with Ducati emerged from initial concerns, it has evolved into a productive and mutually beneficial relationship. As VR46 navigates future contract negotiations and strategic decisions, their commitment to Ducati underscores their aspirations for continued success in MotoGP. In the behind-the-scenes footage, Acosta shares his aspirations for the season-opening race in Qatar. With candor and determination, he envisions himself competing at the forefront of the pack, aiming for a top 10 finish alongside Brad Binder. Despite acknowledging the need to improve his performance in fast laps, Acosta remains optimistic about his prospects for a competitive showing. Acosta's bold declaration to target Brad Binder, a seasoned rider and top performer for KTM, reflects his confidence and self-assurance. Despite his youthfulness at just 19 years old, Acosta's determination to challenge Binder demonstrates his unwavering belief in his own abilities and potential to make an impact in MotoGP from the outset. I think we can be with Brad. If we are in the top 10, we are able to fight for something. To target Brad Binder is a bold indicator of Acosta's confidence. 
Acosta's meteoric rise and prodigious talent have drawn comparisons to MotoGP legend Marc Marquez, who similarly transitioned from Moto2 to MotoGP with remarkable success. Like Marquez, Acosta's demand to step into MotoGP this season highlights his ambition and readiness to compete at the highest level, despite his relative inexperience. I saw what all of you guys saw. He just stepped in and did fantastic things. Everybody talked about him, how many records he had broken in the other classes, how young he is. KTM Motorsports director, Pitt Byra told. As Pedro Acosta gears up for his debut MotoGP season, his unwavering confidence and determination to challenge established riders like Brad Binder signal his intent to make a significant impact on the premier class. With comparisons to MotoGP legends and praise from industry insiders, Acosta's journey promises to be one of the most compelling storylines of the 2024 MotoGP season. Thanks for watching ZNGP today and this IE Tour MotoGP news update. See you in the next video.